So today we are going to talk about hypervisor security. So first of all, there are two types of hypervisors, right? Type one and type two. Um, if we look at the bottom of the stack here, we start off with the hardware. And in the type one, we actually have the hypervisor sitting directly on top of the hardware. And on top of the hypervisor, we, we will see the guest operating system. And then the apps will be running inside that guest operating system. In the type two model, we actually have the host operating system running on top of the hardware. So in this instance, think in terms of a Windows laptop or a Mac or Mac uh, laptop with the host operating system being the Windows or the Mac OS. And then the hypervisor would be running on top of the operating system alongside other applications on that host operating system. So such as like Microsoft Office, right? Now, the hypervisor in this model, think in terms of a software like uh, VMware Workstation or VMware Fusion, Oracle VirtualBox, something like that. Now, you can clearly see that from the type one and the type two, that on the type one side of things, it lends itself more to a kind of like a server model. And if you look at the type two, lends itself more to the workstation model. Now, we actually have our apps and the guest operating systems running on the hypervisor on the type two. And if we look at some examples, um, on the left-hand side, we can see that Linux KVM, VMware ESXi, Zen, Microsoft Hyper-V are some of those examples there. And as I mentioned before, the examples of type two would be VMware, Worksta VMware Fusion, Workstation, Parallels, and Oracle VirtualBox, right? Now, in terms of the actual virtual machine, like where is the virtual machine? That is the combination of the guest operating system and the app running on directly on top of the hypervisor. And we see that with both the type one and type two model. In terms of the attack vectors, in the type two, obviously the attack vector would be the host operating system. So an attacker could try to uh, attack the actual host operating system. Uh, and on the, on the left one, uh, the type one, the attack vectors would be associated with the hypervisor directly on top of the hardware. So that would be the starting point there. And obviously we also have attack vectors at the virtual machine level and uh, at the hypervisor on the type two as well, there's, there's attack vectors. So the attack vectors, uh, to mitigate those uh, attack vectors, the hypervisor would have to be fully hardened and patched based on guidelines by the manufacturer. And on the type two, the operating system would have to be fully patched uh, and hardened as well. Now, obviously the virtual machines itself would have to be fully uh, patched and hardened to make sure that we remove any attack vectors there. But if you look at in general, you know, what is the more secure model? Really, the type one would have to be a, the, the model that's perhaps more secure than the type two because of that attack vector of the host operating system on top of which the hypervisor resides, right? So there's just one more avenue for uh, attackers to exploit there. Um, so that's basically, you know, the differences between a type one and a type two hypervisor.